Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Welcome to the Crazy, Crazy Craft and Cruise Vintage Christmas. It's an exciting day. We all have so many fun projects planned. So kick your feet up, take the day off, and just enjoy with us. It has already been fun. If you've missed anybody, you can go to the Crazy Crafting Group, get inside and see all the replays. I'm gonna get this pulled up so I can read comments easier. If you'll let me know if you're here and where you're watching from, especially let me know if you're new to me. I would love to know that. And if you are, welcome. I'm Deb with Art and Grace. Let's see here. Hey guys, I see y'all popping in, but it's gonna be easier for me to read on here, so bear with me. There we go. Hey Kathy. Hi Rosie. Hi Denise and Marsha. Hi Trisha. Trisha, I think you were the first one to pop on. Thank you. Oh, I forgot my telegram. Oh my goodness. Well, you guys will help me out. Trisha, especially if you'll tell our friends in the VIP group. Oh my goodness. Hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Hey, Karina. Yes, it's so good to see you guys live. We we all go around um, lots of mornings saying good morning, good morning. And, you know, some of y'all will watch replays and let me know you're here. But I love it when you're here live. It's a lot more fun to see people interacting and all the things. Hey, Christy, thanks for sprinkling. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Vicki and Kim, Sandy, Beth, Monica. Awesome. Glad y'all are here. Um, hi, Carol Ann. Did I miss anybody? Sorry if I did. Um, hi, Carolyn and Marcia. Thank you for sprinkling. Listen, I'm going to need a timer. So I don't know, Christy, if you're available to do it right now. I have a cute little, little drummer boy, but a vintage. Remember this, you guys, like the ornament that we used to have, and it was that little round plastic face. We're going to paint that today. We're going to add glass and resin. So it's going to be vintage vibe, right? So everything I do is usually bright and colorful and um, I guess current, not vintage. I don't have like a, a vintage crafty kind of theme in my art, but that doesn't mean I can't do a vintage design and make it super cute. So you guys join me. Thank you, Christy. Okay, let's get going then. I am using Art Resin brand. I'm not an affiliate, but I have done a lot of research and I trust it. It's very safe to use in your home and with your lungs. My mom had a lung disease. She was never a smoker or anything. She just had a lung disease. Now her dad was. So um, anyway, so I've always been very conscious of lungs. My granddad did have lung cancer and it's, you know, nothing to mess around with. So I did a lot of research before I chose what resin I was going to use. Let's see here. And this is a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you use one ounce of one, you're gonna use one ounce of another. You guys are still popping in. Hello, hi, Andrew, glad you're here. Hi, Jackie, hi, Debbie, hi, Sue. I know some of y'all will be in the event later. So let us know if that's you and maybe even what time. Can we do that? I didn't curl my little wispies today. I washed my hair, but I didn't curl them. So they're just kind of hanging flat, aren't they? That's okay, it's Saturday. I know it's kind of funny that I wash my hair and then put on a hat, but I am really overdue for hair. So it is what it is, right? And I'm looking down so much, y'all would have been looking at all my, it's really, I don't have a lot of gray. It's just grown out color, so it's not attractive. So I threw a hat on. Do y'all do that? Kind of, I just, I don't know. Hair color is just a hassle to me. Okay, I'm trying to think. Yes, this will be good, right? Or do I need more? Let me think. I gotta, I gotta think this through how much stuff I'm gonna have on here. I, I think I'm gonna go with just two ounces of this. I could probably do some more, but I don't want it running over the edge. So, oh, thanks. His mercies are new every morning. It's a good reminder for all of us. You know, we're all going through lots of things and if you are in Christ, then he is going to take care of you. And every day is a fresh start. In fact, you can have a fresh start any second. I love that verse. I love having reminders, scripture 
around me. Yes, hey, Andrew, go ahead. And if I am not looking right as you type it, somebody will be able to answer, I feel quite sure. If you're a VIP, let us know that you're here. Sorry. Um, hi, Barbara. VIPs are just very inspiring people, and we have a little group, so that's why I say VIPs. Doesn't mean they're more important than anybody. They're just special in that they're in my private group. We have a lot of fun. Hi, Robin. Um, oh, good, Barbara. Is she doing okay? Sorry, I my mind is on 10 different things at this very second. Let us know. Um, so this is a one-to-one -one ratio. And if, if you use one ounce of one, you're gonna use one ounce of another or two ounces of one, two ounces of another. And then we're gonna stir this for three minutes. Christy already offered to have my time. Hi, Sydney, hi, Marsha. Yes, VIPs are here. Hey, Robin, hey, Kathy. I'm gonna have to rewatch yours. I watched the very beginning and then had to go get ready and prep and you know, the drill. Yes, safe travels for sure. But I know Kathy does beautiful trays, so I can't wait to see it. Everything she does. You know that song, Turns to Magic? Remember that? I remember it from Glee. Like, Glee did that song, and it's so catchy. Um, you know, no, don't know that, whatever that is. Um, so anyway, I can't wait to see what she did. Cynthia's in the house. We got lots of y'all here today. Glad y'all are here. This is kind of the boring part, but I'll show you some of the little elements we're going to use today. This is my inspiration, that little bitty tree. Little bitty took off the vent. She was confused, but thinks she'll be better today. Okay, yes, please do. I'm so glad I haven't looked at Messenger or anything today. Hey, Pamela. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm Deb. I live in South Fort Worth. Happy that you guys are here. If you're a first time watcher, I hope you'll give me a follow and join us again. I asked you, please block me. You want me to block you, Andrew? I don't get it. Huh? Anybody help me on this? <laughs> what? Hello from Kansas City. Yes, glad y'all are here. It'll be a great day. Uh, already has, we already have had several already before me and lots more to come, all giving you some vintage Christmas ideas, which is always so fun. And boy, there's so much talent. I always feel, Andrew, you can just exit. Just go to the next person that you wanna watch and just see you later. Thanks for stopping by. I don't want to block people unless there's a reason. I mean, I don't get it. I'm confused on that. I'm trying not, thank you for sprinkling, Janice. I'm trying not to stir this too fast. I have a tendency to want to whip it like a cake. Um, try to go slow. Hi, Rula. Oh, Teresa, first time watching. Happy you're here. I'm, I'm glad all of you guys are popping in today. Oh, gotcha, Barbara. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. I was very confused. Gotcha. Thank you, guys. All right. Well, I'm glad Andrew's here. I know y'all are too. I like new friends. I like people to check out what we do, you know, all the things. Yes, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Christy. I was watching for you. So uh, we've stirred this for three minutes. It's nice and combined the two parts. So I'm gonna set this aside. And every so often I do scrape the cup and the bottom and then scrape it off my stick and get that worked back down in there. But we're gonna set this aside. So now we can actually paint and create our little guy. It's gonna be cute. So let's get these off because they are hot. Oh, first time watcher, Holly. Well, glad you're here. My brother's in Tennessee, and I can't believe I've never been there. I really want to go. I want to go see the mountains and all the things, and he's offered to take us around Nashville. Um, but we can't seem to make it. Ah. 
Hey, Justin, glad you're here. Hi, Teresa. You're in West Tennessee. Very cool. Yes, give me a follow if you guys are new. I'd love to have you. So here's my little pathetic little tracer. I will make, I always make a, a nice one for the VIP members and put that in the group along with all the colors I'm using. So let's get going on painting. I'll start, I think, at the top. And oh, I didn't even pull a green, did I? Did I not pull a green? How did I do that? Okay. I know I did. I literally did. I must have put it back. Thank you, Janice. You're sweet. I know, Robin. I've seen pictures. It is beautiful. Thank you, guys. Hi, Liz. Hi, Patricia. If I've missed saying hi, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're right on a mountain. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. I always think, what a great way to live. And we don't have a lot of trees in my area of Texas, or in, at least in my neighborhood. And I just... Y'all, this is going to be so simple because we're putting glass on top of this. So if you want, if you don't want to use glass and you just want to paint it, then obviously you can do more to your tree. But I'm doing a simple triangle because this is going to have glass on top of it. So there's no need to do anything fancy on this part. I did already trace it on here to save time and I already did my background. This is a wood canvas so see you can use it for a shadow box too but it's a wood canvas and i've already sealed it with multi-purpose sealer by deco art and that will seal the wood to accept the paint better and to keep any micro bubbles from coming up in your resin oops that's fine because the hat is black so you can go right over your line literally that's all you have to do on that i don't know why i got so much paint out oh good you're new to the group yes you guys, please be sure and get in the Crazy Crafting Crew group. I don't know if Lisa's on here, but I'm happy to paint it. I mean, to paint it. I'm happy to pin it. Gatlinburg, pay for parking. Mm, yeah, good tip. I'm sure I would. I'm missing a lot of comments, I know. A lot of y'all saying hi to our friend Justin. It's always fun to have him in the house. Justin, we need to catch up. It's been a little bit, hasn't it? But happy that you're here. Justin will be up later today. Hi, Debbie. Okay, let's get going. See, I'm just, I, want, I don't want to fear of missing out. I just don't want to miss any comments. I'm trying to look at comments and trying to paint. Okay, so I've got some black with just a little bit of white. I'm going to come in and paint his little hat. Thank you for spreading the grays. Appreciate it very much. I love nutcrackers. I love these little vintage ornaments. You guys, did y'all have them? I mean, what I would not give to have those ornaments from growing up. Do you remember what I'm talking about? The little elf that had the little plastic face. That's kind of the inspiration for this, I guess. And then all the little felt ornaments that grandmothers would make with sequins on them. Did y'all have those growing up? If you're my age or older, you probably did. I'm rusty on painting upside down, you guys. Rusty, rusty. You did have them. I love, love stuff like that. And I love seeing it. Like if you go to an antique store or places like that, you'll see some things like that. And they're usually pricey, you know, because no, nobody's really making them anymore. You each had an elf. Yes. Oh, you do have one, Rula? Hope you and your hubby are doing good. Um, yes. I just would give anything to have those. My husband has a few ornaments from his childhood. And, you know, I may somewhere deep in a box have one or two from my mom, but I certainly don't know where they are. 
We've moved many times and acquired lots of stuff from our kids when they move. And, you know, before long, you don't know what you have. So you move again, then you find it. Okay, there's a super easy little hat. Oh, let's do his brim. He's good, good. Oh, I know, Debbie, me too. It would just be so fun to see him. I kept a lot of my kids' stuff, and every year I have always bought them an ornament with the idea that when they get married, I'll give them all their ornaments. They may not want to use them, you know, because you know how young people are with a tree. They might want to have, like, a really beautiful, nice tree. So they may not use them on their tree, but at least they'll have them. But I was like, I don't trust, you know, my kids till they're mature enough to appreciate them and not, you know, lose them or, so we're waiting. Yes. Oh, oh yes. The stockings. So did anybody have stockings that grandmothers made? My grandmother made us all a, I should have gone. I do know where one or two of those are. My grandmother made us a stocking that had all of our names on it in sequins and lots of little, like I think mine had a rocking horse and an angel and a doll. And I don't really remember what my brothers had now, but I think it had a drum, a drummer or a drum. Um, I don't know. I don't remember, but she made us all one that kind of had elements that looked like us or something that she thought reminded her of us. And I love those. I do have those. Okay, there's his little hat so far. We'll embellish it a little bit. Oh, Jen, it's, the struggle's real to do upside down. I just, now I got so used to turning my camera down on my desk. That way y'all can see better, like when I teach and everything, but in events, I try to turn it this way so y'all can see my face and especially new people won't know who I am. Oh, that's so sweet, Sue. Good for you. People that have really put thought into it and done things like that, oh, admire you. This color is perfect for your little plastic doll faces. <laughs> this is warm beige. It's got a lot of pink in it, so it's perfect. Because at first I thought I might have to mix one, and then I pulled that out and was like, well, no, that's perfect. So you just want to have a clean brush. I, that had black in this and I had to get all that out. And we're going to go over his little face. You're literally painting by numbers right now. This is all we're doing. We're not doing anything fancy or difficult because, you know, we're, we're going to let our glass and resin be the center point. So not a lot of tricky painting in this. You can just do what I'm doing. Just fill it in with your colors. This would be a cute one for ki let kids do. If you go over the line, it's okay. You can always fix it. Acrylic painting is really forgiving. And the way that I like to teach is kind of breaking these paintings down into these step-by-step -step manageable ways. And then we can get more difficult. Like we did a sunflower field the other night that was, um, you know, a more difficult painting. But when you break it down step by step, it's so easy. It really is. So if you haven't been taught that way, then give me a try. Hi, Tony. Hey, Manny. Hola, Manny. Glad you're here. Oh, you have Terry Joe. That's so sweet. Well, yeah, that's that's fine. Whatever is your thing, I think that's awesome to make them their own. And then you can give it to them when they're ready or mature enough or whenever you want them to have it. We'll come in here and do a little extra right now. I'm just getting the base on. I've got a fan blowing on me because it's so hot here in Texas. 
Um, it's always hot in this room. I've got a window right by me. And so it's drying my paint pretty quick. It is, I know. Me and Manny are neighbors. He lives about an hour probably from me. So we're always, oh, his ear. Y'all let me forget his ear. Okay. Now I want y'all to pick the color of his drum. Why don't y'all, yeah, we're gonna do red for his shirt, but what, this'll be kind of white silver, but we've got a little part right there that I could not decide. I pulled blue. So what do y'all think of blue for the drum? Does that sound good? Okay, um, let's do, I think I'm gonna do the next part will be um, his little shirt. So let's get out our red. I know I haven't either, Barb. I'm just always running. Sometimes I see him live and I'm just running to the next, trying to upload something to the group or do something. If I'm on Facebook, I'm usually working, doing something with my group or something. You like blue for the drum? Yeah, that sticks out to me too. Not much of it's going to show on this one. If I was doing a larger canvas, all I'm doing, y'all, and I probably have that off camera, but I'm just mixing red and a little black to get a kind of burgundy, but I think I'm going to lighten it up. I think I got too much. So I'm just working to get a dark red, but not so, so dark. Black will really overtake any color, so I definitely put too much. That's probably pretty good. You what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> You've been nonstop. Yeah, it just, it goes like that. Life is busy for everybody. Vintage Christmas um, makes me, I, I've been nostalgic thinking about all the things. And do y'all remember, I remembered, um, getting my first bike, or at least the first bike I remember. So it probably wasn't my first bike ever, but I do remember walking out and seeing a bike. It was a huge deal because we weren't, you know, we didn't have a lot of money and I feel like a lot of years were pretty small. You know, you got, back then you just got games and little toys, Barbies, whatever. I mean, it wasn't like it is today <laughs> with the gifts and I just remember that bike, it had handlebars, it had the little streamers hanging from it. You know what I'm talking about? I was so excited. I bet we could go around and I bet everybody has, I was deciding if I wanted to make that collar red, but I do. We're gonna put some gold on this outfit too. So let me know if you've got a fun memory about a certain gift or something that happened. Now they've got so many cute ideas like on Pinterest, like putting out the reindeer prints, the elf on the shelf thing. It was very simple back in my day. Betty. Hi, Trees. Hi, Grace. I loved your craft, your book. Hi, Jamie. Oh, I love that Terry Joes. She put her handwriting. I've always said, um, you know, handwriting is so important because, you know, you look just like hands. You look at, as an adult, you look back and think, 
you know, my mom used to complain about her wrinkly hands and, you know, I loved her hands. I can p still picture them today. And of course her writing, and I wish I had more things with her writing. I did keep some things, but, um, you know, display that stuff. And I love that y'all are doing junk journals and can put your own handwriting in those because somebody down the road will appreciate that someday. You, it seems like you have to get older to appreciate things like that or even lose people before you appreciate handwriting and things like that. This little painting could not be easier. There's not a lot to this one. Aww, that's so sweet. I love good memories like that. Y'all put your memories so I can read them later. <laughs> Excuse me. When I look down to paint, my nose starts a running. Like Manny said, it's hot and humid in Texas and we have allergies. We have a pear tree that's just blooming, making all kinds of pears. We've got pears all over the ground. Surprisingly, my dog hasn't tried to eat them. And if you know Blue, she's a stinker. I'm surprised that she hasn't. But maybe she has and we haven't caught her, I don't know. But they're hard, they're not edible. Thank you, Vicki. How are you today? I do appreciate you guys joining us. There's a lot going on, so thank you for spending some time with us, and hopefully you get inspired. Be sure you're in the Crazy Crafting Crew group so that if you miss anybody, you can go back and see everybody in one spot. Lisa does a fantastic job with this event, all of her events. She has others, and and, you know, she's a great one to follow and, and get in her group. And maybe you're a creator who wants to be a part of one of the things. Just start following her, start, you know, sharing her out, talking to her and build a relationship and you might get an invite, right? You might even, um, messenger when once you know her a little bit honestly don't know how she prefers to handle that kind of thing I'm using deco art paint they have great coverage have y'all seen her is she on here because I was going to pin her group hi Arla good to see you live Hope that you're doing good. You unwrapped all your gifts, Marsha, and rewrapped. Oh, I've definitely peaked when I was a kid. I definitely, I would say teenager, would, um, you know, kind of open one end and look, see if I could figure out what it was. What if you open it and you're like, oh, I don't want that. Okay, I'm a little bit of white with this, and we're going to give him some kind of highlights around his arm.
Here we go. All right. I'm so sorry. I did forget to do my telegram. I always do my telegram, so I feel terrible that I didn't. I don't know what got into me. Um, I think we're getting an Amazon. I don't think it's for me. Probably a book for Ron, if I had to guess. All right, let's go to a different brush because I can tell that one's not getting good and clean. So for our drum, I know I want white. I'm going to put just a little bit of black with it. A diamond ring. Oh, I want to go back and read all these. So just a little bit of black, because I can overpower this pretty easy. We're going to do gray, then we'll do some white on top of it for this top of the drum. We still have to add our resin and glass, so... Oh, I forgot his little hands I could have done with the skin color there, but wasn't thinking. I would love, if y'all have any of the ornaments that remind you of this, you know, just the old vintage, you should so put them, make a picture in my Art and Craft Showcase group. I would love to see them. I do make the little felt ornaments with sequins. So maybe I will make some this year. I didn't have time last year and I thought I wanted to make more, but I do like making those because it's like you don't see them anymore. Or at least, you know, I know Pottery Barn sells them, but I don't want to spend money at Pottery Barn. I want to make them myself. Okay. Take a little bit of black and just scrape that on as a shading color. I'm going to get some new white. My brush, I'm wiping it off, but not really worried about if there's a little bit of gray. We're going to take that white and come on top of what we have here. This makes it more interesting. wait to show y'all what we're using for the drumsticks. It's going to be cute, I think. Oh, Cynthia, great idea. That's a great idea. They're real easy and really fun. I will do that. I love that idea. Yes. Okay. Let's do his little hands. If any of y'all in the VIP have those little ornaments, please post them inside there. I want to see. I know most of y'all are like me and everything's packed away. Everything Christmas is packed away for me. It's in the garage, in a tub or in tubs and very not convenient, not easy to get to. I heard Kathy say she's got her stuff in storage and I just pictured it in like a nice storage unit, you know, like a building and then all in tubs that are marked nice and neat. Yeah, ours is in tubs, but it's buried under other things. And yeah, it's not, not a great system or anything. I'm just taking little touches of white to give a little bit of highlight on the hands. Let's do another coat up here at the top too. Oh, 
How are we doing on time? Ooh, we got to hurry. I've got to about 12.45. I would like to be done and get going on resin would be ideal. Joanne. Yes, yes, she may be having to work today. I don't know. I haven't seen her on here. Yes, I won't. I'm going to do gold. I've got a metallic gold for that. Um, thank you, though, for reminding me. I won't. That and the strapper on the face and his little thing to hold the drums are going to be gold. The little straps across his little vest. Um, okay, I'm gonna grab some more white and add that on top of here. So bring in a little more to that drum. need to make a little little spot for a nose and his mouth and then we said blue for the drum Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for sprinkling to everybody who has. I will go back and read the comments. I'll see who sprinkled and, and try to thank you all because I do appreciate that. We want, not only do we want, of course, new people to find us as individual creators, but I love to get Lisa some more people for her group because she does work so hard to put on these events. They're not easy to coordinate everything. And if you're in, in one, you know, or if you've ever coordinated one, there's lots of challenges. People have to change their time slot or can't be in it after all or whatever. And so she works very hard to accommodate everybody and keep us happy. And she does a great job. All right, let's see. That's going to be covered. Oh, let's get going on our details, I think. So I'm getting out this gold. This is Glorious Gold by Deco Art. I love it. I use it all the time for different things. You don't really have to even put anything under it. A lot of times with gold, you need to put like a yellow or something underneath of it. But this is really nice and pigmented. So you don't have to. I'm just using a little detail brush. These are my favorite detail brushes. I buy them over and over. If I leave them in water and they get kind of worn out, just order another set. They're real inexpensive, but yet they work really well. you, Sue. Oh, thanks, Arla. I'm so glad y'all like it. Like I said, it's so easy. I like showing easy things, especially if I'm doing it upside down like this, because it's very hard to paint upside down. <laughs> um, and so if I try to get too complicated, I can't, I just can't make it look good. So I need to be, 
I've gotten real spoiled to just having it flat on my desk and not having the camera on me. But I always feel like in an event, I need to probably have, let y'all see who I am for those who don't know me. Okay, we have drumsticks coming. So I do have them, um, can you see them on here? I do have them um, sort of on there, but um, I'm not even gonna paint them because we're gonna use some actual little faux drumsticks. And let's do some like rickrack here. Well, don't look too close. I'm trying to do a good job because anytime I do glass and resin, I don't want to waste it. So, you know, I don't want to, I'm trying to do a decent job on this, but upside down is definitely a challenge. It's like your brain doesn't want to do what it needs to do because you're you're just, it just doesn't look right. Okay, let's do his eyes real quick before I forget in his mouth. I'm just gonna, for sake of time, use some red and pink on his mouth, make a little, red and, red and white, I mean, to make a little pink. We're just gonna do like a line here. And maybe a little, a little bit of brown for a nose, just a sort of a shape of a nose. Thanks, Cynthia. Hi, Carol Close. Hope y'all are having a wonderful Saturday. Just a little half of a round for the nose. Let's do his eyes real quick. Um, let's say black. Let's get fresh black out. Oh, Annette, thank you. Well, we're gonna we're gonna add. We gotta do our resin. I've got two minutes before I need to start with the resins part. That's not long. Need to fix his ear too. Ear needs another coat. She's in a touch of brown just to show the inside of his ear there. And let's make his eyes a pretty blue. That'll bring out the blue of the drum, even though we don't have much drum showing, but I'm adding a little white to this. Still here. I feel bad I can't look at my comments. I've got to get this done. Oh, 
really, Melissa? That it is so hard. Your brain just doesn't want to work this way, you know? Or at least mine doesn't. Mine doesn't. Let me say that. Yours might. That's why I can't. It's like I can't talk and paint upside down very well. I get more quiet, I think. Give him a couple of little small eyebrows, nothing big. It's kind of the hint of eyebrows up here. Is, oh no 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 I'm not done I'm not done one more thing uh, well let's let's give just a quick second coat here we're getting real close y'all real close to resin time forgot that. The eyes bring him to life. I always say that about like animals when I do any kind of animal. I almost like to wait to the end to do the eyes because then you're like, oh, okay, he's got personality now. Let's do, let's do it before, before I go. So see, now I'm like, darn it. This, this always happens to me. Um, quickly, quickly, I'm gonna do this quickly. I'm just thinking it's gotta have something. Um, I was gonna do a, a border, let's just do that. Let's do the border. I can't think fast enough. Let's do a little border. I like my things kind of messy and perfect. So if you've seen me do things like um, this is not an accident, like I like it to be artsy, so, you know, let your border be kind of streaky, messy. Drumsticks are coming, drumsticks are coming. I like that, see it needed that little border. You can also put snowflakes or embellishments around it. Ooh, I'm nervous, can we do it, can we do it? We have 10 minutes, is that right? VIPs, I already have your tracer and I have started your color sheet, your supply list. So I'll get y'all that in a little bit. You think so, Barb? Hi, um, Barb Pfeiffer. 
Thank you, Deborah. You remember that face, right? That little plastic face, so cute. Okay. You do want this to be totally dry before you put your resin. I'm just gonna make sure. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a bottle brush tree. It's a bottle brush tree. <laughs> You know those ornaments that have, I mean, you can see the ornaments of whatever. It's a Santa head with a bottle brush tree on top. So this was the inspiration for this whole thing. If I'd had a large one, I could just use the bottle brush tree, but I don't. Okay, so I've got my resin that we mixed at the beginning. We're going to pour it on. And we are going to bring it to the sides quick. We are pressed for time. I used two ounces total, so one ounce of each, one ounce resin, one ounce hardener. And um, I do have a, on my website, which is artgracepaint.com, I've got a page that has it says like my favorite supplies and you can go to that page and you can get a 20% off coupon on deco art paint i am an affiliate for that you can get uh you can go to my amazon where i've got supply lists for all the resin supplies that i use and all the paint supplies i you know it just has everything and i've got them broken down into different lists to try to make it a little easier for y'all but we're going to bring it to the sides I don't want it running over. Sometimes I do, but um, for the most part, I prefer to bring it to the sides and stop and not let it go over. And that way I don't have to worry about any mess. If I'm in a real hurry, I will let it, but typically I don't. Thank you, Christy. Appreciate that. Okay, I'm not even going to worry so much about bringing it to the sides right here. So I'm just kind of spreading it and getting it close. And we got to get some stuff down on here. So I'll finish it. Oh, open sesame. Keep it moving. If you're using a butane torch, don't let it sit too long. Okay, so glass. We have large chunks. We have small chunks. And I thought for a bottle brush tree, the small might be cuter. I'm trying to decide. Oh, I just spilled it all over him. Never fear, have a pair of tweezers handy or something and you can just move. I'm just gonna kind of gently scrape to move these up. We could do a combo, but I think I'm gonna use this. I think that this kind of glass with the crush is gonna be better for this little, I think it will look more like a bottle brush tree type thing than the big chunky glass I have. And sometimes I cut my own glass, I do that a lot, and just use those pieces for things. But for this, I think this is gonna be perfect. Let me grab a stick. Thanks, Trisha. Oh, thank you, Grace. I'm glad y'all like it. Uh, we're, we got six minutes, thankfully. I was getting really nervous that I wasn't gonna finish. And I picked, I was just trying my, my hardest to find something simple because I never finish. It just, it always takes me longer than an hour. And And I did want to finish. Okay. I'm going to drizzle a little more resin over all this and we're going to load it up. So you see why it doesn't matter. You don't have to be an expert painter here. Just a simple little tree because you're covering it up. But if you, if you don't want to use the resin, then yeah, I'll just, you can do any kind of tree you desire. OK, 
Okay. You'll have to babysit this. So I'll put it on a level surface. I've got a desk over here that I put all my projects on to cure and it will cure for 12 hours and then it will be cured at a soft cure. And then after a couple more days, it'll be completely as hard as it's ever going to get. And then I could, excuse me, ship it after that. So um, now I think it needs little ornaments. So I'm going to drizzle a little more that will kind of run down in between all these little pieces and help us hold our ornaments on. Ah, four minutes. Okay, what do y'all think of these colors? I thought these look retro Christmas, right? What do y'all think? Not, uh, or vintage, whatever you want to call it. Don't forget to, oh, thank you, Trisha. I would love to have some new friends, yes. We have a lot of fun and we have the sweetest ladies who watch my page. Um, they show up for me and I'm so grateful and we've become friends and would love to have you too, you know. Uh, what do y'all think? Do y'all like the green with it too? I mean, no. Let's see. Let me hold this up for a second. Now, it's not perfect yet, but can y'all see that? can't hold it too much down so everything doesn't run but do y'all like so we've got the red and the blue in here do y'all think colors are perfect good maybe a few white oh the drums I gotta show y'all that I, before we go hold please I've got to show y'all the drums drumsticks Okay, so you take a toothpick. You take your little clippers or old pair of scissors and cut it the size you want it. You take a bead and you got a drumstick. Now I did cut off the tip a little bit so it wasn't sticking over. Um, I did glue mine also because I made a couple in advance. So I glued the little bead on the toothpick and that's what you wind up with. So there's his little drumsticks. Right? So cute. I'm debating about more. More ornaments. Y'all thinking you like it? Aren't the drumsticks the funnest part? I was so proud of myself. <laughs> Y'all should have seen me going, oh, that'll be great to myself. I was very proud, I thought, of the drum of the toothpicks. Sometimes I laugh at myself, you know, because I get excited if I have a good idea <laughs> or something that'll work. I'm like, oh, brilliant. doesn't take much to make me really happy. Okay, so here we go. I will continue to work on this uh, as we watch Thanks Creator. And forgive me, I don't remember who it is. If someone knows, put it. I will bring the resin to the edges. In fact, I'll go ahead and video it while I do it just so you can see the reel later. But I'll bring the resin to the edges I will clean it up, you know, like take my stick and be sure there's no little green piece over here. And, um, oh, thanks, Deborah. <laughs> Thank you, Glenda. Yes, just watch, skim through the replay or something. And, um, and then give it a final blowtorch, butane torch. It's a really simple little thing to use. Thank you, Sue. And does anybody know, um, Rula, I just, I just said to Ron, 
I'm surrounded. I've got so I've got stuff all over the floor. I've got to have an auction. So yes, I'll put this maybe Friday, this coming Friday. Thank you guys so much. I'm sorry I don't know who's next, but if you'll go up to the description of this video and go to the Crazy Crafting Crew group, you'll see who's next and I'll meet y'all over there. I'll be watching while I finish this and I'll video it for you. So y'all have a great day. Thank you for being here and be sure and follow me if you haven't already. Have a great day. Bye.